Papakolea ke ia. This is Papakolea, one of 32 Hawaiian homesteads in the state of Hawaii. It is the only homestead located in urban Honolulu, the two-minute drive from downtown's financial center and a brisk walk to Waikiki. But culturally, it is miles away. Mr. Chairman, I come before you today as a representative of the Native Hawaiian people whose original position of self-governance, once under a sovereign, has been taken away. The Native Hawaiians are the last people of a once great nation numbering approximately 400,000 at the time of the arrival of the first foreigners to our shores, we are now depleted down to approximately 43,000. Threats of our extinction are severe. The loss of our identity, culture and heritage is imminent. I represent these native Hawaiians who are waiting redress from the federal government for the loss of our lands, our economic deprivation, our declining social and physical health, and our disappearing culture. Oh, honest Americans, as Christians hear me for my downtrodden people, their form of government was as dear to them as yours is precious to you. As you love your country, so they love theirs. Do not covet the little vineyard so far from your shores. Your fathers told of the living God, and he will keep his promise, and he will listen to the voices of his Hawaiian children lamenting for their home. In 1928, some government lands here were sold at public auction. It included our home site and the homes of two other Hawaiian families. We were asked to carry on as caretakers, which we did for six years. Then suddenly we were asked to move. After living here 30 years, we were just kicked out. Now we are uncertain what will happen next. Howleys continue to come around as if interested because of it. It is useless to attempt to improve one's living conditions. I'm 65 years of age now. What can I do? No one ever explained to us that we could get title to the land we lived on. So we never did own our kuleana. Some parents had children who explained things to them. They were fortunate. Ours were stupid. They didn't understand. We lost everything. But our history cannot be taken away from us. Hawaiians did not have a concept of private property in the Western sense. Land was not something that in ancient Hawaii could be sold. Even the chief could not sell or permanently alienate land. So the Hawaiians didn't have any idea that land was something that could be permanently sundered from them. In the 1840s, the Hawaiian monarchy was under a lot of pressure from foreign business interests, missionaries, even foreign governments, to change this system of use and tenancy to one more like Western real estate. You must not think this is anything like olden times. If a big wave comes in, large fishes will come from the dark ocean that you never saw before. The ships of the white man have come, and smart people have arrived from the great countries. They know our people are few and living in a small country. They will eat us up. In an event called the Great Mahele, Mahele means division, the Hawaiian monarchy instituted a system of private property. The division was absolutely astonishing because we're talking about millions of acres going to the chiefs and the king. And the sum total of acres awarded to the commoners, that is to say the mass of the Hawaiian people, was about 26,000 acres. Well, the Great Mahele allowed a class of foreign business interests to acquire land in perpetuity. 
chiefs sold off a lot of land, and the king sold land to foreigners for a dollar an acre. Fifteen or twenty individuals have dropped all connection with their native countries and become permanent residents, accumulated much property, plantations, herds of cattle, goats. One has introduced the orange, pineapple, horses from California, flocks of beautiful doves and English hares. A motive entirely selfish, he has denied the seeds and every means of propagation to others. Besides this class of foreigners, 200 runaway sailors and vagabonds, the very dregs and outcasts of society and the greatest corruptors and obstacles to our teaching. The Hawaiians, for a multitude of reasons, tended to sell off their lands or simply abandon them. Did they really understand that this piece of paper, this title, was the sum total of their rights in land and that if they left or sold it they could never come back again. I very much doubt that Hawaiians growing up in a system of use and tenancy rights had a, a full understanding of what Western private property means. It was the beginning of the Hawaiian diaspora, the dispossession of the Hawaiians, and as the rural subsistence lifestyle became harder and harder to maintain, the Hawaiians abandoned the land in droves and they fled to the cities. The dollar has become the government for the commoner and for the destitute. Through cleverness and cunning, instead of good coming to the Hawaiian people, strangers will get the benefit from the wealth.